This turbine, or a variation of it, is the most common type built by amateurs. Its attraction is that it is simple to build. However, it is a bad design for two reasons. First, it has a lot of dead weight that has to be rotated. At any one time, three of the four panels are dead weight. They contribute nothing to gaining power, but must be dragged around. Secondly, it has a lot of aerodynamic drag on the front sides of all four panels. All this drag adds up to be nearly the same amount of energy as that gained from the wind. This is the wind blowing from this direction, striking only one panel to cause the entire device to rotate. As it rotates, it has to rotate the weight of all four panels, plus it has to overcome drag, aerodynamic drag, on the front of all four panels. That is a lot of drag. Because of all that dead weight and high aerodynamic drag, this is a very inefficient design. This design is better because it has no dead weight in the rotor. That means the wind blows on all the turbine's blades at the same time. The trouble with this type of design is that it still has a lot of aerodynamic drag. The wind blows in this direction, striking all the blades of the turbine, so there's no dead weight. Looking at one of the turbine's blades from the side, one can see that there is a lot of drag on the back of each blade. The wind blows from this direction, striking the blade, causing it to rotate this way. However, this surface has a lot of aerodynamic drag acting against it, robbing it of a lot of energy. All this aerodynamic drag cancels out a lot of the energy gained from the wind. This type of turbine is the best design of all. It has no dead weight. The wind blows against all blades at the same time. It has very little aerodynamic drag. This has to do with the shape of the blades and the way they move through the air. Looking at one of the turbine's blades from the side, one can see how streamlined it is and how cleanly it cuts through the air. This is the natural wind blowing on the blade. It causes the blade to rotate in this direction. This is the artificial wind or virtual wind caused by the rotation of the blade through the air. You can see this is very streamlined with very little aerodynamic drag. This is an excellent design. This type of turbine has the highest efficiency of all designs. It is capable of reaching nearly 95% efficiency in the collection of all available wind energy. Very few amateurs attempt to build wind turbines of this type. They feel making the airplane wing type blades is too difficult. However, if you are serious about collecting energy from the wind, you should take the time to learn how to build a wind turbine like this.